Inspired by a recent trip to an Ayurvedic spa, I decided to learn how to make my own infused henna and amla oils. Now I'm going to show you how to take those same oils and turn it into an amazing whipped butter. Gorgeous, it smells amazing. We're going to be using the same core ingredients. We're going to be using coconut oil, but leaving out the olive oil, which allowed it to go back to being in room temperature. And we're also going to be adding some sheer butter. I've got about a tablespoon or two to use in this instance. And I do the same thing, just to kind of recap, I slightly warm the powders before adding the oil. I mean, if you want a more detailed um, description of what I'm doing here and a discussion of mineral oils and why I wanted to avoid them and make my own homemade oil, then be sure to check out the video that I've done on on producing my oils so as I say I just add coconut oil to the mix this time I'm warming it over a really really low heat and for about five minutes so I literally put it on number one setting on the stove I'm sure to keep it stirring the whole time because it's really easy to burn your Ayurvedic herbs and remember you can use whichever herbs you desire you could use Brahmi you could use neem um, and once it's all warmed I leave it pretty much to settle out like I did before um, but I leave it for about 10 hours to infuse you could literally leave it for weeks but um, for the case and purposes of this video I decided not to here you can see that it's gone solid um, as it's called um, you can put it into the fridge to accelerate the process or you can leave it to cool outside and there you go the coconut oil has gone back to its original solid state at room temperature providing you're below um, 25 degrees your coconut oil should do the same so in order to avoid having to heat up my um, shear butter, I basically crumbled it into small pieces, which means I don't have to warm it up to get it to break up under my whisk, uh, which is the next stage that I'm gonna be doing. If you're interested in where I got these products, again, I'm gonna be listing them in the description box below. I got the shear butter, the henna, and the amla from Shear Cottage, and I got the coconut oil from a natural barnet. So to start with, all I want to do is do a general mix. I don't want to turn on the whisk at this point. I just want everything to be um, evenly distributed as much as possible and just to break up any larger pieces of the shear butter. The more shear butter you use, uh, the more likely it is to stay solid at um, higher temperatures and warmer temperatures. Unfortunately, I didn't have much more than a tablespoon or two to use in this instance um, because I love using shear butter and I, I kind of ran out and didn't even realize that I had so I went with what I had but I would recommend maybe three to four tablespoons to withstand the summer that's coming and if it's the winter time then you can get away with one or two so here I am turning on the whisk and you can see it's starting to look like um, butter icing and um, the longer you whisk it for and the more air is infused the lighter your um, butter is going to be this can be seen i guess as a cream or a butter whichever you prefer depending on the amount that you actually add and how long you whisk for and i got this gorgeous little pot when i was passing through ghana and it had these lovely adinkra symbols on the side i don't know what those three lines mean does anybody know what those lines mean um i know that the crossover swords mean courage uh, they're swords of war and authority and um, they have so many beautiful meanings uh, the adinkra symbols my favorite is definitely jinyami which is your favorite comment below I love my time traveling through Ghana. If you're Ghanaian, make sure you comment below. Hala! <laughs> In any case, here is our gorgeous Ayurvedic infused shea butter mix. Uh, hello, strength and nourishment for my hair. <laughs> So I really, really enjoyed putting this together and I'm actually really enjoying using the um, oil at the moment and I'm going to hold fire on giving you guys comments as far as changing hair colour because I know that there's going to be somebody who's going to want to know if it affects hair colour. From the research that I've done, using um, these 
infused oils actually limits the amount of the change of color that you're going to get to your hair but i really would just like to see for myself and i think that um, from what i understand obviously the oil does have a somewhat impeding effect on the penetration of the um, dye of the henna into your hair which is why you can use it um, as a pre-poo and if you're not too protein intolerant you can actually go on to use a protein treatment afterwards it doesn't really have a bearing in that respect you're getting the essence of the henna but not the whole hardening effect so in in the same vein it basically limits the amount of hair color transfer you're going to get so my guess would be and um, I think it's an educated guess that if you use this oil the henna and the amla it really shouldn't change your hair color but over prolonged use and obviously depending on the quantity you use and the amount of um, infusing you allow to happen as in how long you leave the oil to infuse before you actually whip it up or, or whatever it is you decide to use with it that might have a bearing so use with caution it is not likely to change your hair color but I'm not going to say a hundred percent that it won't in fact, in a later video, I'll let you know if I think it has actually changed my hair color at all. So I hope you enjoy the video and um, yeah, let me know your thoughts below.